The late 19th century in the New Mexico Territory was as wild as the West could be. The territory served as the stage for the bloody Lincoln County War and saw the rise of a legend, the outlaw Billy the Kid. On the morning of April 1st, 1878, Sheriff William Brady was walking down the street from the uh, Murphy Dolan store over to the courthouse, which is on the other side of the San Juan Mission. The night before, Billy the Kid and five or six of his friends had come into the Tunstall store and were eating breakfast. They saw Brady walking down the street, ran around back, and right over here, there was a 10-foot adobe wall. When Brady was right about here in the street, they opened fire. But he had 11 shots on him, went down almost immediately. The Lincoln Historic Site is part of a community frozen in time. The historic site includes 23 structures and support buildings, 17 of which are on the National Historical Register. We're consistently designated the best preserved western town in the United States. Um, and as you know by driving in, you literally go back in history 130 years to the 1880s. Sure, we have um, paved roads and we have telephone poles and that, but many of the buildings in the inside, just like this one, are as they were back then. You see actual history as it happened. And starting on August 7th, you can experience that history like no other time at the 75th Old Lincoln Days, a three-day-long celebration and historic recreation of the Wild West. However, this time, Lincoln's much more family-friendly. Over 7,000 visitors will walk in the footsteps of Billy the Kid, Pat Garrett, and the legends of the untamed New Mexico Territory. They'll be able to see blacksmithing firsthand, listen to notable speakers, and see the last escape of Billy the Kid, a pageant reenacting the daring escape of the New Mexico outlaw. Billy the Kid was a young kid who rode into town working for Mr. Tunstall. He rode into something he probably didn't even understand. Okay. By the time he got up into this room, he was in big trouble. Mm -hmm. He had been arrested for the murder of Sheriff Brady, for the shooting of Sheriff Brady. He had been taken to Mesilla and tried, and then taken to Santa Fe then brought here and sentenced to hang. He was sentenced to hang here in Lincoln. Wow. He was kept up here in the corner of this room, mm -hmm. uh, in this corner right here where the white line is, okay. and uh, he was waiting to hang. Wow. So Deputy Bell was guarding him. Uh, Billy was considered too dangerous to be with the other prisoners. Mm -hmm. Deputy Ollinger had the rest of the prisoners across the street at the Wortley Hotel feeding them dinner. So. Billy says that he has to go to the outhouse. Deputy Bell takes him out there, and then where the stories diverge, there's always multiple stories where Billy the sure. Kid is concerned. And so well, some people say there was a gun planted in the outhouse already, that a friend did that for Billy. Other stories say that he actually came up, he grabbed Ollinger's, or Deputy Bell's gun and hit him over the head with his handcuffs, and they scuffled at the top of the stairs, and then he shot Ollinger in the side. Then Ollinger staggers down the stairs and out the door and into the backyard, or Deputy Bell. <laughs> okay. um, then Deputy Ollinger is over there feeding the prisoners. He hears the gunshot. He runs across the street and he says, it's Billy, he shot Bell. And Billy looks out the window and he says, hello, Bob, and shoots Deputy Ollinger with his own gun. Remarkably, Lincoln structures are preserved with near perfect historic accuracy. The Tunstall store contains displays of the original merchandise in the original shelving and cases. And the courthouse, which has served as a store, a residence, Masonic Lodge, courthouse, and jail, will give you an interpretive tour through time at one of our state's greatest treasures. You get 30,000 visitors a year in the museums, but you can probably double that of people walking the streets, so 60,000 during the year. Lincoln is, is a huge cultural draw, not only for cultural affairs, but also for the state. So mark your calendars for the 75th Old Lincoln Days, happening August 7th, 8th, and 9th throughout the historic town. For more information on Old Lincoln Days and the Culture Pass, head over to casa.com.